What defines best breakdown? Well, my list is not just like deathcore. So it's not just heavy heavies. It's going to be like, I don't know. Here's the speedy breakdown. If, if you want something a little bit weird and like, oh, this is the weirdest breakdown I've heard so far this year. It's going to be a good variety. Okay, guys. So 15 of them, the first breakdown that is just going to absolutely destroy you, annihilate you is defamed crystal prison. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, you should come over on Twitch because I play the whole breakdown. YouTube only allows eight seconds of music. So if it's a little choppy, don't blame me, okay? Blame YouTube. <laughs> just keep on going. Like, do I... Okay, okay, okay. This breakdown, I don't know. It just has wub wubs. It has wub wubs in it. But they also have symphonic moments and just those deep gutturals. It's just a brutal breakdown and it also keeps on going. I love it. I love it, man. All right, all right. Next up, this band is just iconic for writing breakdowns. Essentially, they're so good at writing breakdowns within a breakdown. Can anyone take a guess? Breakdown within a breakdown? Three. Two. <laughs> Distant. Oh, Distant, that's a good one. No, um, Brand of Sacrifice. So this seems like a little bit of an odd one, but um, because this is a, a reimagined version of We Came As Roman's song, Dark Bloom, but Brand of Sacrifice just totally elevated the song, dude. Um, all right, next up. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got a good uh, album over here. An album that I enjoyed. Maybe I got to give it a couple more spins because it wasn't on my top 10 list, but I have a lot of respect for this band and a lot of respect for this album. And there's no denying that this breakdown from the title track is just brutal. Fit for Autopsy, Oh What the Future Holds. Okay, for people that aren't deathcore junkies, okay? Like, we'll move on to something a little bit different, okay? The next band is, it's metalcore leaning, but it's also a little bit hardcore adjacent too. And it's one of the best collaborations of the year, one of the best collaborations in the scene, in my opinion. And uh, they absolutely crushed it when it came to the breakdown moment too. I was not disappointed when I heard Landmark's Death featuring Drew York from Straight From The Path. Do you feel like this? it's like it's a good breakdown like i love the, the vocal chemistry between the two and it just seems like a fun breakdown in comparison to the rest but it does seem a lot softer in comparison deathcore breakdowns are just so much heavier man but this is a really fun breakdown definitely deserves a, a mention here um next up next up we got uh oh okay this is like going to be in like all of my lists you guys are going to be so sick of hearing about this band all the time, especially if you don't enjoy this band. You're probably going to be like, uh, not them again. But if you do enjoy the band, you're like, OK, OK. And surprise Earth with Overpass. Moving on, I love this breakdown. I love this breakdown a lot. It's just, this one is just fast to me. It's upbeat. Like I said at the beginning of this list, this one is more like if you're on the treadmill or something and you're, you want to like, you need that little pump, right? That's what you need at the treadmill, a little pump. I don't know, dude. Uh, Monuments, Carnal Red. I fucking love this breakdown. It 
Exactly, Nathan, man. I love the riffy breakdown, just the fun noodles and the panic chords and like the speed and rhythm. Uh, this song has a really good breakdown, but it just, it's shocking. It's shock factor, it's heavy. This song is already a heavy song and just to finish it off with, by even being heavier, ice on the cake, ice on the cake. <laughs> Yep, I really, really like that song, man. Uh, banger indeed. This one, this band is going to be on everybody's like breakdown list. Like, let's just get it over and done with. It's funny about this breakdown is that it doesn't even come close to like, you know, of course to the hellfire, but they're not trying to, right? Um, but Lauren Shore just knows how to write surprising breakdowns. Anyway, I gotta shut up. Let's move on to the next song, which is The Homie. Bitter Bliss family featuring 1056, because honestly, this guy, he's known for being the breakdown guy out of reactors. He loves breakdowns, he loves heavy music, and he at least knows how to write a damn good breakdown. Rich, rich. If you're watching, actually, I'm going to put this on YouTube. Um, what I want from you, man, this was heavy, but I know you can do heavier. I want just absolute filth, disgustingness, shockingness, like to the hellfire, just kind of like disgusting this man. All right. Next up is to a popular band that is dropping their album in a few hours. Unless you're in Australia, then it's already out. Uh, Motionless and White Slaughterhouse featuring Brian Garris. <laughs> Next up, this breakdown is fun, okay? This band is hated or loved. As someone who grew up with like emo post hardcore, I find this band a guilty pleasure. And I think this breakdown's a lot of fun. Fun or verse, vo voices in my head. Keep on telling me I'm cursed. The voices in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed. I'm paranoid, I don't wanna make it any worse. Move! But next up, next up, we're going into, I was going to say hardcore, but I guess this is metalcore, but like it's hardcore adjacent too. Um, I really, really like these guys. I mean, straight from the path, guillotine has a badass breakdown. Dude, honestly, some of my favorite breakdowns are when they just keep repeating the same lyric. Um, oh Sleep or Hush Hale does the same thing, and it's like, has kind of like a violent lyric too. It's just super intense with like, you know, the lyrical theme of the song. Um, just really helps sell the breakdown, especially when it's like the final moment of the song, and they just keep dragging it out. Uh, next up, these guys are hardcore, and they have one of my favorite uh, breakdown callouts that I've heard all year. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit biased and they're from Canada. So it goes to get the shot, deathbound. Welcome to Quebec City, you son of a bitch! It's so short, but I love that breakdown callout. So I guess that's kind of like uh, one of my favorite callouts of the year. It's just a hard hitter, dude. If you haven't heard this song, you gotta check it out. It's really, really good. Two more. This is another one that I heard on Twitch, and uh, I had to edit it in for my Battle of the Bangers video, and I put in the title, Breakdown of the Year Contender, because I think it's that good. Nocturnal Bloodlust, Cremation, featuring PK of Prompts.
last up on my list is probably my personal favorite breakdown and it's not going to be on a lot of people's list just for me i thought the sound of it was so unique and weird that it really really surprised me animals as leaders red miso sorry no vocals but this breakdown is just wild sounding Um, a couple of honorable mentions here just for fun. We got some static dress lie solution. <laughs> Grey Haven. Grey Haven has a really cool breakdown. It's kind of similar to static dress. Um, another one, another one, Elysian, Shadow Blur. This song is pretty much <laughs> that freeze frame. <laughs> oh yeah, this song is pretty much just Breakdown City. There's so many different breakdowns, dude. Yeah, so that's my list. That's my list. Oh, I forgot pale face. <laughs> what else am I missing, guys? 